So today I just thought we'd take a look at this older APC uh, UPS board. So basically this is an inverter. It comes from an uninterruptible power supply. And I'm sorry I don't know the model number. This is the number on the board. But APC is a 2002, uh, I guess, copyright or stamp on the board there. So it was a smart UPS. And I'm assuming this was either a 1,000 or a 1,200 watt. But I actually had this in a tote from years ago. I want to salvage some of the components. Or maybe even see if I could one day run this off a lithium battery. And I've had this in a, um, in a tote way before I actually uh, become an ego 56 volt guy so or actually before they even came out with these with that being said i was just wondering if i get these out of the tote if memory serves me correct i got all the parts to uh to hook it up and just see if it'll run off the 56 volt ego battery i do know it had a transformer so the transformer that i have goes with this one i got several boards in the tote so i am trying to make sure i got all the right components together that was the front board on the the UPS from an older uh, server style or rack mount type uh, UPS. That of course the batteries just over time the batteries went bad and they may have been replaced by an IT department maybe maybe once or twice. But probably beyond that it probably wasn't economical to to keep it with the age of it. So even though I don't know, I'm thinking maybe the board will still invert uh, with a battery supply. So I just thought we'd take time to hook it up and see how it does. Usually I put notes with something I take apart to use later, but I do see I marked a B. I oh, you can see that with silver uh, paint marker. So black and white went here from the transformer. It looks like a transformer plugs up here. We have a thermal, a USB, so it has a serial here and also has a USB uh, interface board there. I guess if you had the APC software back in the day for it. I do still have the actual battery um, power connector. But for this test, I'm just going to bring over some clips. going to bring over the jumper leads. And just use the jumper leads in place of the power connector for now. Since for testing only, hook it up to my Ego battery. And this is a large capacitor we're going across here, so it is going to be a bit of a pop, typically. We got right at 48 volts coming into the inverter. Which I believe this, this inverter was 48 volt. So I'm pretty sure one of the boards I have was a 36 volt setup. But I'm thinking this one was a 48 volt. Either a 1000 or 1200 watt. So just curious if we can get it to come on. So we do show we, do show we got AC power. And the cool thing is the battery shows a little bit low which is good. Because this battery is low. I wanted to start off with one right at 48 volts first. Yeah, 17 volts AC. So that's going into the transformer. The transformer should be putting out 120 volts. And there we go, 120 volts AC. And I don't have the battery hooked up, so one thing I'm going to do... I'm going to remove this buzzer the easy way. Buzzer removed, at least the top plate. Just remember, dealing with mains volts, we have to be very, very careful. We can be very dangerous. Um, we got our, our 12 volt or 17 volts, I'm sorry, stepping up through here. Coming out of this transformer is higher voltage. And going into our relay boards and coming out. So just keep that in mind. If you ever dealing with main voltage, you're doing so at your own risk. If you're not qualified to do so, then don't do it. So I do have a few things that I can incorporate into a little portable inverter. I can I can add another strip, but if one's not enough, I got the fuses that came with the original APC. I just hadn't incorporated in the test setup, and I got a little 10 amp uh, circuit breaker for the output that was wired in. 
I did just move this ribbon cable back and forth and just got that uh, communication board out of the way. Really don't have a need for it. So one thing we realized, I, I didn't mark it, but I thought this was a 48 volt system and it, it showed the voltage okay, which was kind of odd. I don't think you can see it on camera, but that's a 40 volt cap and I overlooked that. And these are 24 volt relays. So I believe this one was actually a 24 volt system. I have two of my M12 Milwaukee batteries in series here just just to get my 24 volts here, just for testing only, but but now we see our frequency is dead on 60 hertz. Our voltage is um, around 124, 125, so I expect it to be a little, a little above 120, so that's actually um, more about what I was expecting. But that was my failure there to forget, um, or not mark, that this was a 24 volt system. So I did put over voltage on that cat, which wasn't a good idea. And I could feel the relay getting warm and I could smell it just a little bit. So. so we're getting about 15 volts AC frequency of 60 hertz right there. Coming coming off of the actual DC bus switching back and forth making our AC. So I'm just going to stop the video right here because this isn't the board I thought it was. Um, when I put it on my bench here, I just didn't uh, look into it quite good enough. But maybe in the near future, I'll look up my um, my 48 volt board. I'm, I'm pretty sure at least one or two of them in there is rated for like 48 volts. I would like to get one of those running and see if it'll run off the um, the Ego battery pack. Even though this one did, and it really it really should have given me over voltage on the battery. But without looking into it too much, I'm just going to put this one aside for it's still emergency backup, but for 24 volts only. So two car batteries or something like that to get me a get me a little bit of emergency 120 volt power so it's just worth it um since it was just scrapped out you know i just i love to repurpose things so if nothing else i'll just have it around in my little plastic container and it'll just be a backup i do know that you can buy little inverters fairly cheap now and and i know eagle even makes a little small one that's to me useless for the for the size of it and they also make the um, the Nexus Power, the actual larger one. I really just can't justify spending the money on it this time, but I do like the idea of it. But anyway, this is just a video about trying to repurpose this old UPS and see if there's any interest out there in it. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching. <laughs>